last tidbits to the journey, I wanted to show you how we installed almost 900 watts of solar on top of my Jayco uh, Tentacle good wheel. And um, I hope this information is helpful for you as you begin a journey of installing solar on whatever rig you're um, utilizing. And if you found this uh, information helpful, if you wouldn't mind sharing the video with friends, giving the video a thumbs up helps um, my channel grow and helps it promote it. stop the video at any time while you're watching and um, write down uh, what you see that might work for you um, also at the end of the video I'm going to list uh, all of the items that we used it here with a permanent marker but we're waiting until the roof dries because uh, it's too wet up here right now to mount these and then we're gonna plug into our solar prep there and the other two panels are gonna go down here solar so it made installing our solar uh, much easier so if your RV is not pre-wired with existing solar prep then you'll need to do some research on how to the best way to do your solar but uh, because mine was pre-wired it made everything easier also I was able to uh, download the app for the solar charge controller actually into my J command system in the uh, fifth wheel and so what's nice about this is just from the touch screen in the fifth wheel I'm able to see what I'm producing and see the charge controller and the various functions with that so but regardless of where you choose to put your charge controller you will be able to access the information via Bluetooth on your phone or tablet so mine just happened to be able to be used on the J command center in the trailer and this is really convenient and you'll see that later in the uh, video We had to cut that. Right, so I thought okay, this must come off somehow, right? Let's just make them. Oh, they're very tight. No. No. I don't think so. Yeah, it's got a connector, so. I'll give it so we can just take this off and see what the wires are rather than take the cut there. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah. There they are, right there. So, so go down below and see what you're doing. They're already. They're not. Nope. They're on this thing. They want you to cut this to even be able to get it out. That was like on the right eagle. Oh, there we go. Good job. 
there's the other ones. There they are. Just gotta make those good, right? Yeah. So we got you know how to use a tester. If we have a nine volt battery, this is battery, battery, solar, solar. So this goes to your batteries. We are going to be able to test. We can put your controller right here if you wanted to. Will it fit? Okay. Not in this, but in this. No, but if we shut the cabinet, it'll still fit. I don't know, let's go find out one. Wow, that would be so easy to do it right here. We just go, and I put a battery on here, a connector on here. And go up above. And then you go up above and stick the terminals in there. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I can climb up and do it. Oh, we can do it. You just tell us what we're doing. No, I just hook this together and white and white and see which one's which. What if this is hooked? Hey, tester. Battery. Whoops. Okay, those are live. Here, let's do this so we don't short any. Oh, those are, there's nothing plugged those in. Those are just on the top, right? We just don't want to cross these two. Please have power. Look at that. That power. Yes. So all I gotta do is put the positives from the controller. I'm hook this up right now. Cause then we can, yeah, I'm gonna get my Polaris's and hook this all up and we'll put this back. This one's going to be our positive. And what's that called? That piece you're using? Polaris multi-tap. Oh. Multi-tap connector. So I need, I'm gonna strip these wires back. So what do you want here? it again. I already put the caps on. I'm stupid. So if they did this correctly, these white and red wires are running all the way to the battery. Right. They are. They are. They're definitely oh, because similar. we already tested it? Right. Oh. Okay, that was good. And I've 
already set this for lithium in advance. or gauges or anything on it. So we just gotta get it in there like that. And there's no buttons, nothing. I've already set the dial for lithium. This is if you have to use, a, if you're connecting it, and there's a port to use their touch screen and all this okay. stuff, but we're not doing that. So right now it is set. The heat sinks are up. It that's down there. Do you guys have the doublers? We need to get those plugged in. These? Yeah. So we can just yeah. tell me where to plug them in. Over there. Where is okay. it? Okay. That's in. Okay. okay the clip, one. it's locked all the way in. Yep. yep. And then do okay. the other the Yep. Other the other one's just like it. So please tell me this cable makes it over to there. Yeah. Hey guys, we can just run these. Right. Nice. Just underneath, underneath, right? Underneath, right? Underneath and put a piece of the turn right. on right there. It's not going anywhere. Right. Okay, so let's get out these right here. Let's do our first panel. So here's our positive that goes into our negative. Then here's our positive out, which will go into this. Then technically if you went up and plugged that in, we don't need we don't need to yet, we're just gonna leave it there so we can epoxy this. Okay. Then we'll have to help stuff this stuff under there. And then we're just gonna put a fat piece of a turnip bond over it and you won't even see it. Perfect, nice. And all the wires will be underneath. Yeah. Now there will be a little short run out from the end over there. That's fine. Right. David, set yours down. Perfect. Yeah, well, when we screw it in, it's not gonna be. Just push down where I'm gonna screw it right now. While this is wet. with the way the install turned out and so far testing the um, inst or the solar panels uh, for about a week now I have yet to drop below mm, like 13.0 in terms of the voltage on my batteries and that has been even through some cloudy and rainy days like I had a stretch of about three days that was uh, cloudy and I was still producing solar so very very happy with the panels and um, the charge controller is awesome
items that I'm going to show you are suggestions. They're what we chose to use. The products that um, we purchased were um, recommended to us and worked for us. And so they are suggestions. Yeah, so please consider subscribing and I will look forward to seeing you on the next Tidbits for the Journey.